Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to my channel. And today, guys, we got a new Chrono Jet unit. <clears throat> we got Chrono Visor Heritage. That is the new Chrono Dragon unit, or the next stride in the Chrono series for the Dragon. <clears throat> and I saw this while covering this news right here the Triple Rear Zero Effect. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was the video that got uploaded right before this. I'm about to head off to work, so. I'm trying to keep these videos really short, and that's why there's two five-minute videos today. So I wanted to go over this. It's a grade four G unit from the Dark Zone. It's a gear dragon chrono. It's a chrono dragon, I guess, as its other archetype or zodiac time beast. And its skill is choose four other zodiac time beast G units from your G zone and turn them face down. When this unit is moved from your vanguard to G zone, you may pay the cost. If you do. Take an extra turn after this. Skip your next ride phase. At the start of your main phase, stride this face-up card on Vanguard. Wow. So, Chrono Jet or Chrono Visor Heritage. Now, I'm going to zoom in so we can talk about the artwork a little bit and its skill. I'm going to... Is there a way I can open this up in a new tab? Um, so we'll copy this. We'll open this view image because I want to talk about the artwork, but I have to zoom in a bit because there's no good picture of this. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. That is probably the best I can do. This guy had a pretty halfway decent picture. Um, Yeah, we'll just zoom in and we'll talk about what we can see, I guess. So zoom in. All right. So he has a sword. And this is a pretty good skill. It's a late game skill. And I see Chrono Jets, I see Gear Chronicle decks really utilizing this card for the simplistic reason that if you run the GB8, you are going to utilize this. And it's going to make the deck powerful. And guys, that email you see at the top, that silverwolf9614 at Yahoo, no longer works, so don't, tr don't try to email me. I mean, you can if you want there, but it doesn't work, so. But, um, so, artwork. I like the sword. It looks to have, like, a visor on the top of its head, if you look closely at the, um, white thing. I can't really tell what that is from the distance I'm currently sitting at, or standing, depending if you can tell me, tell where I'm at. But, I do think this card will be halfway decent, and I can see it being competitive, especially in the late game, like I said. So if you G-Guard, you're going to reset all your G-Guards, <coughs> which I think is going to happen, in all honesty. I see this happening in the anime, where Chrono just says G-Guard, and G-Guard, and G-Guard, and he runs out of G-Guards, and then Heritage is going to come in and just shut it down. Now from the looks of it, Heritage looks to be a G-Rare, which is hard to tell by its art. Um... Because normally, as of late, G-Rares haven't had that restricting white box over their art. They have a unique foiling, but never that. So we're going to open up a new tab here and look at it entirely once more. Just so <coughs> we have a full breakdown of its skill. I plan on covering this card later on, or maybe Black Moon will. So, it, yeah, it's a GR. I don't understand why it has the white box there. I mean, it is a good card, though. It's sticking with a new silver-white color that Chrono's going for. And it just looks like a nice card. It's a nice addition to, I guess, the Gear Dragon lineup. And I guess if we're getting another Chrono Jet Stride, I wanted it to be a, wanted it to be a semi-low rarity. So if you guys don't know, GRs are sort of those cards you pull quite often. I mean, they're they're fairly cheap. I don't see this card being super meta. You you aren't gonna run more than one or two in a deck at a time. I honestly don't see riding more than running more than one, because the most cards you're ever gonna get for this card to be face up in your G zone at one time is eight. And that's half your G zone there, and that's striding four times. <coughs> And flipping face up but this cards effect does have a bit that I'm curious about if you do take an extra turn after this one skip your next ride phase and at the start of your main phase stride this car stride this face up on your Vanguard <coughs> I 
Well, why is this good? It is technically a repeating skill. It doesn't limit itself to once per turn. It's an auto skill. So if you have the G units face up, <coughs> then you do have the potential for a better... You have a potential for three turns in a row. That's tw that's nine triggers. And that, is, that can be powerful in this game. I don't see it being that, but it is going to be that. But overall, I do like this card, and I like what it's per, what it's sharing with the game. But guys, being that I have to leave here in a minute, I'm going to leave you guys there for now. Tell me what you guys think down below. Is this card good? Do you like its art? No, yay or nay, whatever. Just please let me know. And until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.